Hello. Well, now we've come to the final part of Easter story. Last time, we finished with the death of Jesus on a cross. That happened on the Friday, and Christians call it Good Friday. After Jesus had died, his body was taken and laid in a tomb, and a large stone was rolled across the entrance. Everyone thought that the story of Jesus was over. His friends were now hiding, afraid that they too might be arrested. But on the third day, something happened. It was the Sunday morning when two women from amongst his group of friends went to the tomb with some sweet-smelling spices to put there. How do you think they were feeling as they walked towards the tomb? I'm sure all of those things you've thought of would have been true. They would have had a whole mixture of feelings. Sadness, fear. Perhaps they were wondering about the guards who would be there or how they would move the stone. But when they got there, they probably forgot all of those things because they were in for a huge surprise. Hello, my name is Mary and I come from a small village called Magdala. Um, so I'm called Mary Magdalene. And I was, I am a follower of Jesus along with some other women and we were all there when he was crucified. And I know he was dead. I saw that with my own eyes. And I saw them take him down and, and they took him to a, a tomb and put a heavy rock in front of it. It was so heavy, it took several men to move it. And then they put guards in front of the tomb so that nobody could steal the body. And we weren't allowed to go the next day because of Jewish laws. But the next day after that, we got up so early, the sun was just peeping through and we rushed to the tomb and we expected to find it as we'd left it with the guards there and the stone there. And that wasn't at all what we found. There were no guards in sight. The, the stone had been moved away from the entrance and we could see inside and Jesus' body wasn't there. There was just a pile of cloths. Wow. We, we didn't know what to think. We were so confused what had happened. And then somebody appeared and it wasn't a guard. In fact, we didn't know who he was. We know now. He was an angel and he said to us, why are you looking for Jesus here? Jesus isn't here. Jesus isn't dead. Jesus has risen from the dead. Well, <laughs> like we're going to believe that, but, and this is the amazing bit. This is where it really gets, oh, oh, I can't even tell you. We saw Jesus himself, yeah, alive. He had risen from the dead. Yeah. Well, well, we just couldn't wait to go and tell the others, Peter and John and the other disciples. We knew they wouldn't believe us, of course. <laughs> But we knew it was true. It is true. Jesus has risen from the dead. <laughs> oh. Wow, that's some story, isn't it? Jesus was alive. How amazing. Everyone's world was about to be turned upside down.
Let's for a moment imagine that you are one of Jesus' friends that had not gone to the tomb with the women. You are still in hiding. Then Mary arrives back, knocks loudly on the door, demands to be let in and then tells you what they've just seen and heard. What do you think you would have felt? What might you have thought or done? I'm not sure how I would have reacted. Whether I would have leapt up off the ground, run round the room in circles, burst into tears or just hugged everyone in. One thing I do know, I wouldn't have wanted to tell everyone. I wonder if you had some exciting news, who would you tell and how would you do this? I know that I would have a great list of people to tell if something exciting happened in my life. In fact, I can remember one time when I was so excited, I just didn't know how to contain myself, really. That was the time when my children were born, my two boys, Ian and Ross. I was so excited, I can't tell you. I just wanted to run up and down and shout and tell people that they'd been born and that they were beautiful and that I loved them. I just needed to get on the phone and tell the family. I have never felt so excited, I don't think. It was wonderful. And I know you might have examples of that too. What sort of things have happened in your life that have been exciting and you've wanted to share with others? So why don't we finish this session with the opportunity just to do that, to share those things with other people. Share something that has been really important in your life. And when you've finished, I would like to invite you just to pause for a moment. Take some time. Maybe with your teacher you could light a candle and just take some time to be thankful for those lovely times. You may want to use simple words like God I thank you for, or maybe you'd just rather choose to be still and remember, it's up to you.